So we have a government right now is truly, that's truly, truly of Satan. It's not of God. It's not of love. It is pure ego driven. A strong desire for power and wealth. And if you notice, I want you to pay attention because you can prove me wrong. I, you, can, you can try to prove me wrong. You're not going to be able to, but you can try. Um, you can try to prove me wrong. But look who is head in the government right now. Look at who is head in the media, the government, most of the churches and all that. And you will see Satan at work. And because men are afraid to speak up, Satan is having his way. And you're afraid of being called misogynist and racist and homophobic and Islamophobic and all the, with all the children of Satan. They have given you words that you have believed in and it's brought fear upon you. And now they're taking your life away from you, your children and everything. They're brainwashing the children like 90 going north, and they can care less about what you think about it. They, they don't give a hoop. And they don't care because they know you are not strong enough to stop them. You have fear. They're brainwashing the children like, and they're changing the, the order of America like a hurricane. Hurricane! It's crazy to see how fast they are moving. Fire! Mm -mm -mm. They're on fire. Bloomberg, this is from Bloomberg yesterday. Biden announced plans to nominate 11 judges to the federal courts. 11 to the federal courts. Listen to this. The uh, nominees include three black women and if confirmed could result in the first Muslim Allahu Akbar federal judge in the country's history. Watch this. President Biden today launched his effort to reshape the federal judiciary, announcing a diverse list of judicial nominees with a wide range of experience. This is also a groundbreaking slate in many ways. It includes four nominees who have served as public defenders, four who are members of the AAPI community, a nominee who, if confirmed, would be the first Muslim American federal judge in history. Nine of the 11 nominees are women. In a statement, the president described his list of nominees as trailblazing, and he continued, quote, each is deeply qualified and prepared to deliver justice faithfully under our Constitution and impartially to the American people. And together they represent the broad diversity of background, experience, and perspective that makes our nation strong, end quote. Wow. If y'all can't see by now that you have been set up to be destroyed, I don't know what else it's going to take. 11 judges to the federal courts. I don't know what it's going to take. Why? Just think about this. Why do you think they're putting all these radical black women, Muslims and stuff in control of your country? They want to destroy you. They want to destroy good. They want to destroy Christianity. And there's nothing like the hatred of a woman. Women get life from destroying. They don't get life from building. When they can bring you pain and misery, even if it's to the children, and you overreact to it, and they see that it's important to you, you're giving them your life every time you overreact. They know what they're doing by putting these women and Muslims in charge of our country because they know that these people are evil and they get life off by destroying you. The more pain they can bring you, the longer they live and then you die. It's a horrible mistake to be allowing this to happen, folks. 
and they use words like women, Muslims, like that's supposed to mean something, right? You got to overcome words. You're being manipulated. You're being set up and you're being destroyed with words. Children of God overcome words. You overcome the world and you can't make yourself overcome. You will. God will cause you to overcome just like Satan cause you to be evil and, and do the things that you wouldn't ordinarily do that are evil. We are not in control. We are a spirit. And if you have not overcome the mother and returned to the father, Satan is your daddy. And if you have returned to the father, God is your daddy. And in him, there is no fear. There is no anger. There is no hatred. It's the power of real love, not the fake love that fades after the first sexual encounter. This is so dangerous, I don't know how to... They're setting it up for a real war. We are having an internal war within our country, a war within, and it's worse than the war from without. And they're setting their arm, army up with these radical, angry black and white and Asian women. It's not by accident that this is happening. And it's not for the love of women. It's for the love of evil. Uh, this is from Bloomberg. Another report here. The Biden administration, this is from Bloomberg, the Biden administration won't have the American Bar Association vet judicial candidates before they are nominated. You know how normally they have to be vetted? they cutting that out because they're putting in all the dummies, those who are not qualified, the affirmative action people, the reparations people. They're putting in non uh, unqualified people to run our country. May God have mercy upon us. It ain't about qualification anymore. It's about color. It's about evil. And just think how bad services, the services in this country is already getting. It's already hell. It's going to get worse. So what they're saying is that the American Bar Association is an obstacle and obstacles to diversity, meaning that if you don't remove these standards and just bring these people in based on color, you know they're not going to qualify. So we are not asking for standards anymore. We're asking for or qualification. We're asking for color. And never mind that they are so dumb they're going to destroy the judicial system. Another reason why women are not created to lead is not in their nature. They're not created to lead a family, businesses, schools. They're followers, government, police department, city council. There's not in the nature of the woman. God in Christ, Christ in man. Man over woman, woman over children. Women base everything on how they feel. And that's why the ladies got to return to the fathers as well. They got to forgive the mothers for turn and grandmothers for turning them away from their fathers and love their fathers so they can love God. And God will renew their minds and draw them in. But when you put women in control, it's just nothing going to come but hell. This is from Twitter. A teacher union, a teacher's union representative out of Idaho fight to keep wearing masks, but is notably out of breath while speaking to her colleagues. Watch this dummy. They make recommendations for the entire country based on their knowledge and their understanding of what is best for everyone. <laughs> And they don't need to visit our school district to make recommendations for everyone. And they <laughs> currently have recommendations what? out that with the current level of transmission in Bonneville County, that we should be <laughs> in hybrid for the elementary schools and virtual for 
middle schools and high schools. <laughs> but, and we're not following that. But I do think that we should follow their, require, their request and their recommendation for masking. <laughs> I'm done. So you want to pick and choose? Yes, I do. Yes, I do pick and choose. Hold on, bro. What? Let me just get one thing clear. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yes, I do. We're watching her. I can't her. breathe. Hands up. <laughs> We're watching her. I don't see no legs moving. <laughs> I don't see the desk moving. <laughs> And she's she, out of breath in that mask. <laughs> that mask about to kill her. Uh, uh, yes, I do. And then just reacted. <laughs> I never seen that before. That was a new one. Women in charge. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. She recommended a mask. Want to keep wearing the mask, but can hardly breathe. A representative from the teachers' union. Every time the man listens to the woman, he suffers. Yesterday, we played a clip of uh, of the CDC director, a woman by the name of Rochelle Walensky. Okay, now she's scared because she's so scared. Everybody got to wear a mask. On. She's scared. Um, I know what it's like as a physician to stand in that patient room, gowned, gloved, masked shielded, and to be the last person to touch someone else's loved one because their loved one couldn't be there. We have so much to look forward to, so much promise and potential of where we are, and so much reason for hope, but right now I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. They need men. Women have fear. They don't have love. Men, stop trying to get love for women. I hear guys asking me, well, if I seek the Lord, would the Lord give me another woman? I'm like, what the? You must love God with all your heart, soul, and might, along with nothing else. And love your enemy, your neighbor, as yourself. Then you, he will add to you, it'll be amazing. She is scared. And she's the head of the Center for Disease and Control. A, a woman in fear, a female in fear. And she'll make you wear a mask because she's scared. Not because it's the best thing, the right thing or anything. It's only because she has fear. And people are crazy enough to follow that. A company, what are you, what are you saying? I mean, the CDC is... is the health company, right? So yeah. people are looking towards this company for confidence in what what the state of the health crisis of the United States is. And this lady, you know, she has, has fear. And you got to be on pot to fall for it. Amazing. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson radio show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it.